<laughs> it's almost like being on another planet. It's almost like being on Mars. White Sands National Monument is the largest gypsum sand dune in the world. It encompasses 275 square miles of 97% pure gypsum. This gypsum sand comes from the surrounding mountain ranges, which is the Sacramento, the San Andres, and the Oregon Mountains. It comes out of solid gypsum, then turned into a granulated sand after millions of years of evaporation and crystallization due to the large ocean that was here thousands of years ago. It's surprising, uh, just the white sands alone uh, make you feel as if you're in a southwest moonscape. And it's surprising when you walk through it, uh, you see bits of life, plant life. It's really being in a, in a different world, and it's true desert, no doubt about it. Tonight we're going to go on a three-quarter mile hike into the dunes. It's going to take about 45 to 60 minutes and we're going to see how many animals and plants have learned how to adapt in this barren, wild and worthless environment as it was considered in 1856 by John Russell Barlett. We're here and we're having a wonderful time. We're meeting wonderful people, uh, knowledgeable people as well. If you want a nice traveling experience, an experience in nature as well, White Sands is a great place to start. I'm hoping that we see some wildlife emerge and I understand that animal life in general is more active under the full moon, and I'm hoping we see some desert life come, come forth. As the moon rises over the uh, horizon, you see how the white sand is illuminated for miles. And sometimes you wonder if you're actually standing on Earth itself. And when you take a second look around, you find out that this is a very beautiful place to be on a full moon.